um, and they're about to get in their third game here. So not sure what decks are out for uh, Jordan, but he's going to pick it, the Warlock deck against uh, King of Kimchi's Druid. Mm -hmm. As we see that Jordan dude right now, he's playing with Reno Lock. It looks like Reno Lock to me, cause, because we see the Pilot Shredder in his mulligan. And looking at King of Kimchi, he's playing his pretty standard looking um, Druid deck. Alright. So no no one to three drops coming in for uh, yeah. Jordan. Dude. Yeah. Looks like a nice curve though on the other side for King Kimchi, yeah. and he's going to choose to coin out the wild growth over the living roots this yeah. turn. Definitely coin out the wild growth. Need that wrap early. <laughs> Definitely need yeah. that wrap early. And also he can play out his three drops as well, like his shade yeah. next round is. And he's going to drop the shade right away. Mm -hmm. Going over to Joy Dude, he chooses to Earth and Ring for some tempo mm -hmm. over the tap. Yeah, definitely need to cool. contest whatever four drop would come down, like potentially the Shredder. Trying to force King Kimchi into it, maybe mm -hmm. a trade. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he uses the Living Roots to burn. Mm -hmm. And he is going to do that. Yeah. Probably keep the Shade stealthed as well. Yeah. Definitely, un definitely people should uh, unleash the Shade when um, it can be protected in some certain way as well. So, so playing the Kesson Mystic for Tempo on curve, the Druid doesn't run any secrets, so yeah, it's, it's perfectly fine. As most, yeah. as much value as he's going to get. Yeah. Hoping that King of Kimchi doesn't have the Wrath to take it out, which he doesn't. Uh, it looks like we're probably going to see uh, Druid of the Claw taunt here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, picking up the implosion. Pretty nice draw for him. Gives yeah. him something to deal with the, the bear, and that's guaranteed even if he hits a 2. Mm -hmm. A two on that one, so he's oh, gonna go three. ahead and do that. Pretty average, nice. pretty average, <laughs> pretty average. Not four. Can't but complain about that. Yeah, one. can't complain. At least it's, <laughs> oh, even if it's two, it's not bad. It's still yeah. tradable. But now he can actually contest the shredder. Yeah. And that turn yeah. two shade is gonna come in big. Five five already. Mm -hmm. And he's got the a nice curve there with the shredder and the mm -hmm. hero power. Jordan's mm -hmm. turn looking pretty nice. Just slamming down the Sylvanas, yep. forcing Kimo Kinchi to trade. He even looks shocked at this little <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be tough for him to deal with here. Yeah. Um, maybe swipe hero power, but then he gives up one of his big minions. Yeah. My guess is we're just going to see him go face with everything. Mm -hmm. he chooses to take the shade out. Gets 10 damage on face. He'll probably kill one of the imps. I guess just in case uh, Savannah's actually steal the shade, you do lose oh. all on that 6 damage. And he just face with that. Yeah. That's interesting as well. But it's going to make Jordan play defensively. I wonder if he's going to choose to Reno here. Reno does look like a pretty sweet play. Shadow Flame he's is also Shadow good. Flame, yeah, guarantees gain the shade. Nice. He clears the board. Mm -hmm. He's above the 14 health. And he gets the shade over on his side. So King of Kimchi, it looks like he's going to have to, to swipe here. Mm -hmm. Maybe on the... And it's a tough turn for King of Kimchi. Yeah, definitely. Playing a swipe and yeah. an MC deck, yeah. A very strong tempo play. Yeah. Not as strong mm -hmm. as he might like, but it's the best mm -hmm. that he can do with that hand. Mm -hmm. And Jordan again has to be thinking about combo. Yeah, combo. Tapping. Turn 9 is yeah. coming up for the Druid, and he's going to Reno. Mm -hmm. If he didn't play Reno here, it would be lethal with the 3 damage on board. Yeah. yeah. I actually looking at drawing with the Wrath, because you do need combo. Right, yeah. right. I guess it's not yeah. that much of a threat anyway. Yeah, but I guess like he does need to we'll remove what he chooses way. here. Yeah. Okay, he does yeah. go for the draw. And three bodies on board. Yeah. Maybe, maybe GHs. But he's sitting at a high health total right now. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't make great use of his mana. Mm -hmm. I like the even rathing in BGHs. Just wipe out the board. It does kill off his own Reno Jackson too, though. So he mm -hmm. chooses to go with the BJ Sledge Vulture, yeah, which is also wondering uh, if uh, Kimchi actually runs uh, <laughs> Ancient of War. <laughs> yeah, I've been. I played against King Kimchi in my first match, but uh -huh. I don't remember his Druid deck very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Let's see. just needs to hit the Belcher. <laughs> oh, feels bad. Man. Feels bad. That's kind of... Oh, need, needing to utilize the innovative player. Uh, yeah. So looking for very dim for Kimchi. Oh. <laughs> Having only innovated and force of nature. 
Ooh, interesting. We do see a Doomsayer in this Reno deck. Probably just see the Dr. Dr. Boom drop, I would guess. Yeah. Unless uh, <laughs> tap heal button. He, he, he can't afford to tap. It's yeah. not lethal, even if he has combo. And but he's he going to choose not to tap. Yeah. He's a very high curve <laughs> in his hand anyways. <laughs> very interesting though, but he, he didn't have the anti heal bot. He could have, could have consistently had uh, his he, health high. He's not really in any danger of lethal. It's true. Yeah, it's also true. <laughs> nice. <Ooh. laughs> King of Kimchi grinning at that one. Game is definitely not going his way. Yeah, definitely not. And oh, uh, pick him that Jordan, low thumb as well. Oh, okay. That looks like. Is he gonna demon math? Nope. No. No need. Yeah, no need. Not a threat. This is Jordan to have lethal next turn, he doesn't. But Oh what? he picks up the Savador Ooh. finally. So it can be anyone's game right now. We'll see what Jordy decides to do. I don't think he's running the combo Reno Lock. No. So he's going to have to play this turn defensively. Yeah, he does have to trade off his minions and potentially anti kill bot. He is at 14 at the moment. Okay, so he's going to heal for mm -hmm. 3 and King of Kim Kim she won't be able to find the damage to lethal him. Unless second Savage Bear would do it. Second Savage yeah. Bear would definitely do it. He's got the Innervate yeah. for it. He does have the Innervate. Ooh. Oh. oh, oh. That looked like Savage War. That looked yeah. like Savage War. I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. De definitely a really tough turn right yeah. now. Uh, the board does threaten lethal as well. He needs to pick up something. He would probably p potentially use the Force of Nature to clear yeah. as well. He, he already used one of his Force of Natures, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it does feel a little So bit that's really the only way he's going to close up the game. And mm -hmm. He's going for the Doomsayer. Mm hmm. Ouch. And it looks like yeah, it looks like the Jordan dude taking taking the quarter final quarter three? final series. Yep, that was game three. Whoop. Three zero for Jordan. Three zero sweep at so. the quarter final.